Hey everybody, I'm Tim McCamus. I want to take a second of your time this evening to explain about a, um, not, not a new product for us, but a revision on a product that's been around for quite a while. It's a dual nitrous bottle mount. So this kit, uh, we have, we've had this forever, but it was in a uh, 4130 version, which means that the whole kit was uh, welded together and it had 4130 straps in it and, and tubing. So uh, for a couple different reasons, we decided to redesign this product. One for aesthetics and two for shipping, which is a, is a big deal nowadays in paying for freight and getting things to a end destination. So we took the design and enhanced it a little bit by making the, um, the base of it or the, the bottom where the bottles are gonna be uh, setting a aluminum billet piece and then making the rest of it modular. So this kit, when you get it, uh, will be in pieces and it's, it's real simple bolt together design. It's gonna be the same shape, same dimensions as the old one other than being just slightly wider on these tubes to allow us to use these, uh, uh, the bolt together design parts. So th this particular model is gonna hold two 25 pound bottles and it's, um, it's, it's cut long here. It's, it's going to be a little bit extra length so you can change it uh, when it mounts in the car. And, but this kit's going to come complete. So it's going to be, uh, in the past it was just the rack only. Well now we have taken and redesigned that. And to give you a quick rundown of this, all these pieces are going to unbolt. So this has got a stud in here. This has got a bolt. It's counterboard. And when you get this in the kit, you're going to get this base. You're going to get these tubes. You're going to get these legs. And then we've put a flat on these so you can put this together and tighten it up. Um, and then once you assemble it, it takes two seconds to assemble, then you have this unit uh, in hand. And then you're also going to get uh, this hardware here, which is the mounting uh, portion of it. So it didn't come with any of that in the past. So you have um, two stops and two sleeves. So the stops, these are actually going to what's going to weld to the chassis. And then this little stop sleeve is going to slide on here. So you're going to weld this to the uh, floor portion of the chassis and then this little stop, wherever you choose to cut this off, and these are long too, you can cut these down. This is just going to get a couple little uh, quarter inch welds on here and that'll stop the mount when you set it down because you'll have bottles in it or even it's just a rack itself is going to stop at a given height. And uh, we're also going to want you to cut that short of the floor. So if you have this on a tube here and let's say you use this full height, cut this thing about a half inch shorter than that so that it doesn't go down here because when you weld the bottom portion of this, it's gonna uh, pull in just a little bit and get tight. And the last thing you wanna do is have to wiggle this mount to get it out. So if you actually cut this a half inch short, it'll slide in and out easily. So you're gonna get these uh, this little bit of extra tubing here to mount it to the floor of the chassis. Then you're gonna get this back brace, which is gonna go like this so that the front of the chassis will be pointed this way. So we're gonna give you this to fit on here. And you're gonna cut this down till it fits to the back of the bottles. Then you're also gonna get a little center brace. So that way, under acceleration, those bottles are supported up here by the neck, but they also have a back uh, brace to help stiffen this whole structure up. So to give it a lot more stability, it's gonna tie all this together. But we're gonna let you do this because at, at this point, we can still ship this in a small box. Whereas before it had to go in a very large box just to get this rack in. So you're going to get this rear hoop, you're going to get this brace, and you're also going to get two sets of these little T mounts that will, one of these is going to uh, weld to the side of this rack and one's going to weld to the chassis and it's going to go together just like this. And so with the this portion of it going on the rack and this portion going to the chassis, so the top portion will be on the rack and then you'll just pull the pin and then this will slide out with the rack. And then you're also going to get a small piece of uh, tubing that I don't see here on the table, but it's going to be, uh, if, the, if these had to stick out very far, we're going to gusset that with a small piece of tube. And if you just kind of uh, want to zoom in here on this chassis, this is our display chassis in the showroom. And it's got one of these, uh, it's got one of the older styles mounted in there. So this is the the 4130 version and it had this uh, steel strap around here. But this area right here, this is that little mounting system that I was talking about. And you can mount this where the pin goes this way or this way. So we have one each way. We have this one mounted like this and this is that gusset material. 
So you're gonna get this and this to go to the chassis and then this little small one here even has a little gusset on it because you gotta remember now, um, you've got two 25 pound bottles in this thing. So you got 50 pounds of material hanging in this rack. You get out there and you get the acceleration from the car, you get the tire shake or anything like that that's gonna bounce it around. You wanna make sure these bottles are secure. So we're gonna gusset each one of these mounts. And then on the inside here, if it's a double frame rail car, we will use, um, we'll use just one of these off of the side of this mount and we'll just go over to the uh, top frame rail and we'll put, we'll cut this spud off of here. We're going to cut that off there and we'll just weld, we'll weld this one in the top of that frame rail so that this will actually, we'll, we'll just uh, um, drill a half inch hole in that tube, slip this down in there and then this will set down on top of it. So the top of the double frame rail will be used for that support. So there you can see that there is a that spud that was on here is welded into this tube. So there's just been a half inch hole bored in there. And then this little small, uh, it's been cut down short. And you can see there's no room for a gusset on here. So then that pin, so we're gonna pull that pin, we're gonna pull this pin, and that whole assembly will slide right out of there. And then we also have um, extensions available if you run 15 pound bottles, because they're taller, but their aluminum in the base is the same. But then you can go over to the, um, this is a single version for a carbon fiber bottle. So those are totally different in shape than the aluminum bottles. So this mount is, is kind of cool. So we, we've machined this mount. If you, if you notice on all the carbon nitrous bottles, the bottoms are rounded. They, they have a dome shape to them and that's because they're wrapped in a, in a glass and Kevlar material. But this is a uh, shape to hold that bottle like a, just like a, a bowl would be. And so instead of it riding on a sharp edge or sitting on a sharp ring or anything like that, it fits perfectly into this machined cup here. And then also on the top, we've done the same thing with the uh, hold down hoop here. It's beveled around here and it's shaped like the top of the bottle. So that surface, it doesn't have, a, it doesn't have an edge like this to ride on the bottle and chew it up. Because the bottles are very expensive. So this, this will set right on that bottle and you can tighten it up. And these are run down tight now, but when the bottle is actually installed in here, there's going to be a little bit of a gap underneath of that so that you can tighten this down nice and tight. And so you'll put that in, put the ring on, tighten this down. And this, uh, this particular mount will come with the same hardware except for the back hoop. You don't really need the back hoop on a single uh, bottle mount because there's not that much weight there. But it is going to come with two of these and also these sleeves for the bottom. So, like I said, we've got the double is available for an aluminum bottle or a carbon bottle, and then we have single versions available in either one of those configurations too. So just uh, get online, check this stuff out. This is really nice and easy and it's simple and there's, uh, uh, the assembly time on it is just minutes to get it ready to go in the car. And like I said before, this fits in a nice small box now, so the freight on it is very reasonable.